Okay. Uh, I know this video is dark. You have to excuse uh, my lighting. I'm just not really in a mood to have the room super well lit. So, um, if you watched my last non-hair video, I was talking about going to the doctors and getting test results. <laughs> oh my goodness. These doctors are ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously annoying. So I go to my doctor's appointment and I think that I'm going to get the information that I have been looking for. You know, um, I am finally thinking that I'm going to get some answers. No, I don't. You know, he asked me a jillion questions. Um, did some examination, you know, physically, my joints and muscles and things, which I was expecting. I was expecting the questions. I was expecting the physical exam. Um, but I was also expecting to get the answers on my blood work. I didn't. He's like, he does the physical exam. He asks me all these questions. He's like, oh yeah, I need some more. I know I need some blood work. And I'm like, okay, cool. No problem. I'm like, you know, I had some blood work done last week for you. Um, my primary care physician ordered some things for you. Because this is the rheumatologist. He's like, oh, I didn't know that. I'll go have a look at those things. He was gone for 30 minutes. Looking at blood work. So when he comes back, I'm expecting, you know, at least for him to reveal to me what the blood work says. No, no, that's not what he does. What he does is orders two more tests and has me to go to the reception and get the first available appointment after Thursday, which is today is Wednesday. So he said that he wanted the first available appointment after the blood work was complete. Okay, that I'm like, okay, can you tell me what's going on? Um, why I need the first available appointment? What did the blood work say? He's like, no. I just want you to get more blood work and I need x-rays. I'm like, so after being poked and prodded for two hours with him, I go and get needles with, and x-rays and of course they put me in these pretzel positions trying to see my joints how they're looking or whatever I don't know all I know is I came home in excruciating pain when I got there I was at a 6 or 7 pain level when I left I was at a 12 I know this is going to be over soon. And I'm going to have my diagnosis. I know exactly what's wrong with me. But the suspension is like killing me. I have no idea what's wrong. He didn't want to prescribe any pain meds. He's like, no, I really need the results from these blood tests. Um, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. This is just like ridiculous. I'm frustrated. Very, very, very frustrated. So, it would be really helpful if anybody else has been through this process can give me some feedback. Is this normal? Um, are they always so secretive? I mean, is, is he just really cautious? 
can anybody help? Does anybody know? Um, okay. I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's not very many people watching these videos. A couple <laughs> people watching these videos, but I appreciate that. You couple people who are watching these videos. All right, I guess I'll go to sleep. Try not to think about 